I just got married. Huh? It's exciting. I uh, I thought I'd have a different look by now, to be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I'd be into like polos, you know, have a smart haircut. I look like I just kick flipped up onto the altar, you know? <laughs> They're like, do you take this woman to be your wife? I'm like, fucking whatever, dude. I, <laughs> she giving up that puss or what? Like, that's the <laughs> vibe that I brought into my nuptial. It's a crazy look. Monogamous fuckboy. I don't know what. <laughs> I'm pulling it off, though. I think I look pretty sweet. <laughs> I, uh, I did marry a lady. It's my choice. My choice. Yeah. <laughs> Works out for me. I like it. Uh, it's good. <laughs> I'm open to anything. I don't understand people who are against gay marriage. I got married this year. It's the gayest thing I've done in my entire life. <laughs> Spent the entire year picking out napkins, matching them to floral arrangements, going to jewelry stores and dance classes. Like, every marriage is a gay marriage. You know, we don't, we don't need to discriminate. You know, it doesn't seem necessary. It is wild. I think the week of the wedding is when all the like insecurities start popping up. It was every morning she was waking up and she's just like, oh, I just had a dream that you were fucking all these other women. <laughs> I'm like, can I have that dream? <laughs> what? That's one cool thing I'm not allowed to do anymore and you get to dream experience it? That's bullshit. <laughs> Sitting there like, how was how was I, how was he doing that? Was he? <laughs> gee, he's just back there. Just that guy's crazy, dude. Tell me about that. That sounds pretty. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I think uh, I think having sex with one person forever is gonna be lit. <laughs> No, it's a dream come true. Ever since, ever since I was a boy, you know, I was five years old. My parents were asking me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was like, monogamous. That's, that's what I want. I was like, mom, you tell these whores to keep their devil box away from me. That's what I said. I got to focus on my mortgage. That's what I said, five years old. Sharp kid. Every man in here, you understand. You know what it's like being a boy, waiting for Mrs. Wright. Uh... <laughs> No, I do think we've started underrating having sex with one person. Like, it is good. You get really good at it, you know? You're like a team that's been through training camp, you know? <laughs> Long, regular season, hard-fought playoff run. By the time you're in the Super Bowl, you drop back to pass. You know where that wide receiver's going to be. You hit it and strike! <laughs> All day! <laughs> and by that, I mean, like, twice a week's pretty good, dude. <laughs> No, talking, to, I, talking about sex is fun. That's the thing that sucks now that I'm married. I don't get to talk about sex anymore. I can't call my friends up and be like, yeah, the other day the uh, missus came home. They're like, shut the fuck up, dude. What? <laughs> That's a married woman, you sick creep. What are you doing? <laughs> when I was single and I had sex, I used to hold a press conference, dude. I'd be <laughs> dialing people in from different parts of the globe. Like, do we have the delegate from the Philippines here? <laughs> She squirts. You know, like, it's fun. <laughs> Talking about sex is sweet. And I enjoyed it. The guy sex talk isn't even that great. Boys, we just bring the fellas up. We're just like, yeah, fellas, I, uh, I just had sex. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Uh, that's it. There's no... <laughs> Lady sex talks are the greatest conversations I've ever been a part of. <laughs> The girl sex talk is the coolest conversation you can have on planet Earth. I've been around for a few of them. You're sitting at home. Some roommate comes in wearing the same dress as the night before. <laughs> before that door is closed, someone's just like, you whore, tell me everything. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're popping bottles of champagne. You've got eight blankets on, you know? <laughs> Swapping tails, you learn all sorts of crazy what he smells like. Ladies, it's the one time your detail oriented storytelling pays off. <laughs> it's a good time. You get to make fun of the dude's dick. How sweet is that? How much do you love that? If a dude pulls up from, with some weak pipe, his life is over. Dude, he's. 
He thinks he just fought. He has no idea he's getting battle axed by eight bitches in a distant living room. This guy's life is over. He has no idea. All sorts of dicks you get to describe. Big dicks, small dicks, soft dicks, hook dicks. You got a Dr. Seuss book full of dicks to talk about. We don't get on the phone and describe the vagina. Dude, that's not a... I'm not on the horn with the boys like, yeah, dog, it was dark and wet. You've seen them. Uh, <laughs> we should learn to play golf. <laughs> I'm not gay! <laughs> you know, like it's, not, <laughs> it's not how that goes. Although you should be careful, ladies, talking shit about dudes with tiny peepees because you, you have clitorises, which are... <laughs> Technically, the tiniest penises in the world. You have 100% of the smallest dicks at this event, so why don't you shut your trap, you tiny dick bitches? Huh? Pot calling the kettle black, are we? And any dude who's ever been like, she's a cocksucker, well, you too. Uh, we've all had a little dick in our mouth, it's fine. <laughs> Talking about sex is fun. I don't get to do it as much anymore. I think it's important. I do think as a society, we're doing a better job of talking about sex. Like we talk about things like consent, which I think matters. We didn't talk about that much when I was a kid. I wish we had. Dude, if I had known we were allowed to verbally ask for sex, <laughs> I would have had 10,000% more sex than I ended up having. I was out here trying to Ouija board the pussy through a variety of nonverbal communications like left hand to right knee. She didn't like it. I'm leaving her life forever! Like that's, that's how I did that, dude. I was, never really, I was never really good at hitting on people, you know? Like, I don't know, some guys walk into a bar and they're like, what's your name, what's your number, ha! Like, I don't, I don't know how guys do that, dude. Some guys get in there, they're like a lion, dude. I'm not a lion, I'm a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just find a nice dark corner of the bar, you know? Just try to weave a web. <laughs> fun looks and enticing dance moves, you know? Just, I would just hang that web up there and then you do not get to decide what you catch. <laughs> <laughs> just excited for a hot meal. <laughs> you know, oh, spiders eating tonight, you know? <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger web. <laughs> That's why I like that. I like that ladies can hit on dudes now. There's a lot of things that we're mixing up with gender roles, which I think is really nice. There's things guys can do now we didn't used to be able to do that are great. I'll tell you the moment it hit me. I was lying in bed. I just rolled over to do something on my phone, and my girl just rolled on top of me and big spooned me. I was like, oh, can we do this now? I didn't know how to accept the gift of little spoon. My grandpa would have shot up and been like, none of this queer shit! I fought in the war, damn it! I'm just like, your arms feel thick. Like, it's nice in there. Big Spoon is a shit position. Oh yeah, I can't wait to go to bed smelling the back of your neck. Fuck you, dude. That's trash. I will say it is weird when the Big Spoon is smaller. Just hanging on to you like a skydiver's backpack. <laughs> Face lodged in the middle of your spine like, I love you, babe! <laughs> I'm like, I need a bigger lady, you know? Someone who played D1 softball, hit 350, you know? Catcher, not afraid of some contact at the plate. It's the type of relationship I want. There's an intruder in the middle of the night. I'm like, oh, shit, babe. Whose turn is it? Yeah? Let's go Dutch on the crime fighting, huh? I grab your bat, Bertha. Get out there and crack some skulls. You know, that's, that's the type of relationship I want. That's the point, is equality is a good thing. That's why I hate when guys will say anti-equality shit like, oh, I could never live in a household where the woman makes more money. I'm always like, yeah, you could. <laughs> Is that your big fear in this life? <laughs> Having too many extra French rooms you don't know the name of? 
like, don't let your dick pride get in the way of having a foyer. Okay? <laughs> that foyer money, son. That's two salaries in this economy. We've got inflation. And that's my time. I'm Joey Avery. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>